wounded and tired, Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. I have left the Crow's Perch behind after the Baron's untimely demise by his own hands. And we're gonna do a bit more interesting work today. Uh, aside from seeing a man commit suicide. We're gonna do a few contracts starting off with Jenny of the Woods. Uh, we're back here at Midcops, uh, the village where we started off when we were looking for Kira Mats. And uh, we have to talk to the Elderman and see what the problem is with this Jenny of the Woods. Greetings. What do ye want? So the notice about Jenny of the Woods, you posted it, right? He oh, looks unsure. Trust me. You do it. Choose a witcher, is you not? Straight off, a picture in me granny's book. Monstrum, or a portrayal of witchers. Remember like it were today. We be afeard of her. But Jenny of the Woods, what's she to you? Um... We... Well, she's nothing to me, but you asked me to help you, so I'm gonna help you. Let's talk rewards. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, how much would ye wish? Let's try this again. Um, let's start at 265 this time. Well, sounds right for Jenny of the Woods, but we're just short. Will you drop it a bit? Okay, and now we'll go to 255. And there oh, we go. Have it your way. Okay, let's do this. I'm on it. Know if anyone's seen Jenny of the Woods? Could tell me more about her. Oh, Willem must have. But he won't tell you naught. He were weak of heart. We found him in the fields this morning. Other folk are afeard to go out nights. But you might try Agneta. Lives at the end of the village. Word is she saw the wraith. And nothing happened to her? She wasn't hurt? Agneta? Outlived three husbands, that one. Jenny of the Woods won't do naught to that wench. <laughs> okay then. So uh, we need to go and have a chat with Agneta. Oh yeah, uh, in the meantime, in between recordings, I also did the side quests, the fist fighting side quests, and that caused me to level up once. So I'm gonna quickly put another ability point in. So we can't activate another ability yet, but I am going to start to look around a bit for it. Uh, we still need three more points in the Quen sign tree, in the sign tree, I suppose, to uh, unlock the third branch. Uh, we need 18 points and we still ha only have 15 used in that. Um, we could upgrade Axi once more, or Igni. Igni is already pretty powerful, so maybe I'll try and uh, upgrade Axi this time. There we go, Axi, the second level fully upgraded to take control over enemies. So let's talk to Agneta. Wraith that haunts the village. Heard you can tell me about it. Oh I, I saw her. Saw Jenny of the woods with my own eyes. Like I sees you now, Witcher. What did she look like? In detail, please try. Truth be told, I didn't see her too clearly. It, it were growing dim, see? And this pale shape loomed afore me, mist-like. I comes closer, and the cloud thickened, and something like a visage came out of the mist. What did you do? What do you think, me love? That I'd wait to see the wraith in full glory? Ran to the village to tell folk what I'd seen. I see. So she appeared to you just after twilight? Important clue, thanks. You take care now. So we've already been uh, dealing with noon raids, night raids, and this seems to favor twilight. You're gonna haunt my armor and my weapons over there at the grindstone. There we go. That'll come in handy. And then let's start investigating the surrounding areas. Barefoot. 
So again, as with the noon raid before, the devil by the well before a it. Piece of fabric, possibly from a dress, got snagged on the undergrowth. We might Stride suppose indicate she was running. Probably why she tore her dress. Somebody chase her. We might suppose that the raid is actually a woman from around here, as the noon raid was the bride that was murdered in her house. So we're gonna try and find out who this Jenny of the Woods really was by following the footsteps of a woman, a woman that was ch being chased around. Couldn't outrun her pursuer. He stabbed her or slit her throat. Strange. Left the knife behind. Dried blood on it. Could come in handy. Drag the body through here. Clear trail. So. The woman was murdered here by someone, and that someone left the knife behind. So let's see if we can find where this is leading us. Lugged the body all the way to the woods, buried it here. Shallow grave. Murderer must have been pressed for time. Something sticking out. A letter? So we found a letter in the grave, let's check it out. Even though I told him I don't want to know him, I know you're not afraid of Bokai, but I am. He says he loves me, but it's not the kind of love I have with you. It's a fierce, frightening kind. Bokai won't leave us alone, ever. We have to run. Leave your reply in the usual spot. Your Zula. So... A scorned lover killed the woman, seems to me. A night raid. Alderman probably knew the girl. I had to ask him. So Geralt indicates that the Alderman must have known the woman. Must have known the couple. And now that we know names, we can go question him question him a bit. So, Elderman Bolko. Greetings. What do ye want? Zula and Bakai. Did you know them? They must have lived in this village. Good God, he knows? Tis witchery. They disappeared, both of them, into thin air. We've not seen them a week now. And she already turned into a wraith. And a letter. It's clear she rejected Bakai because she loved another. Zula and Ontan, aye. We thought they'd fled north to seek happiness there. Bokai departed round the same time. So that's to mean our Zul is the wraith. Can't be. Such a good lass. And so pretty. Any idea where they used to meet? I don't think she's pretty anymore. Can't say for sure. But the young'uns, they go to the clearing, mostly west of the village, past the fields. Zula. Good gods. So, our suspicions were right. I can hope to lift this curse. Gotta drive the wraith away. Stand a chance if I can bind it to one spot for a while. The Alderman knew the couple and even knew about the, uh, the extra relationship that she had. So let's see if we can find the lover's meeting spot. Went pretty close to where she was murdered. Let's make some preparations first. And apply some spectre oil. And there we have the picnic spot. Burn Zula's letter and the dried blood from the knife, the same as we did the bracelet of the bride when we did the quest for the noon wraith. So. The night wraith won't appear in daylight. We need to meditate at towards twilight. I'm gonna try that to see if I can have a. Uh, Bit more time. The night wraith won't appear in daylight. It's still too bright, apparently. Okay. And there we go. Straight into the fray. Hello. Lovely.
So as with all raids, she is uh, immune unless you add Erden. So when the doubles appear, we need to be quick and take him out before the Jenny recovers too much. Okay, there she goes. Holy shit. So that's quite the battle. So uh, keep your Erden and your Quen sign up so you can damage her. If she splits up, don't forget to quickly strike all three of the copies before she uh, regenerates too much health. And don't forget to keep your Spectre oil uh, up at all times for extra damage. So, there we go. Ooh, forgotten Vron sword and the trophy. I'm gonna quickly check those things out. So the forgotten Vron sword is a steel sword, which seems to be doing exactly the amount of damage I'm doing now, except there's a chance to stun and a critical hit chance bonus. So I'm gonna equip that thing. Looks a bit curved. A wavy sword, so that's great. I'm gonna repair it immediately as well. And there we go. And also embed three runes in those and that thing, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, chance to cause bleeding. Armor piercing would also be handy. And Let's add a poison effect as well. There we go. And the trophy just adds a 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans, but I think I had something else there instead. Oh no, okay, never mind, it's great. 
keep it that way. So let's check in back with the Alderman. He's inside his house apparently right now, so uh If it weren't for our fair helpers ruling the wilds, we'd have starved long past. Okay. Greetings. What do ye want? We fixed your problem. Jenny of the Woods is gone. Got rid of her. <sighs> She'll not be back. No. I know how to dispatch night wraiths for good. I, of course. You're yeah, beating them with agreed. a sword repeatedly. Many thanks to ye, Master Witcher. Farewell. So there we go. Jenny of the Woods contract completed. Uh, maybe just for a little tease for next episode, we're gonna do another contract. Namely, the Merry Widow. But that will be for next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.